All right. This video is to show you how we do setting eggs in the incubator. As you can see, all the eggs have a mark on them. One, two, three, that is the pin number, the mating number, where I do a single mating on the, all of my pins. So each pin is a single mate. What I do is I disinfect my eggs. I use half water, half Listerine, put it in a little sprayer bottle. And about two, three hours before you put them in, inside the incubator, you spray them real good. Just give, give it a, a good mist and let it sit for a couple hours. So I do that with all of them. It doesn't hurt them. I hatch, as you can hear, I probably got about 300 chicks right now. So it works, works for me. I use a Sportsman 1502 incubator from JQF. I got that one at Pinion Hatch Farms. They're about the, the most inexpensive uh, from all the uh, vendors out there. And uh, that incubator does a real good job. Gives me a great hatching rate. Uh, just don't forget to candlelight your eggs. You know, some of them are not gonna be fertile. The first one or two eggs that your hens lay, they're not gonna be fertile. Uh, when you separate your eggs, you can use this sacks. I got them from Pinion Hatch Farms as well. I had this for several years. Uh, they work real good. You put whatever, like, like all these eggs with the same number, put them all in one sack, put a little nut on the top. I'll show you that in another video. Uh, every time you, you're gonna use the uh, egg crates for the incubator, make sure you disinfect them as well, clean them up. Uh, that's about it. Uh, water, you gotta use distilled water. That is the best way to keep your incubator clean and keep minerals off your incubator. I use I get mine from Kroger's. That's about the most inexpensive, and it, it works real good for me. It keeps the uh, incubator real clean. No uh, no residue, no calcium buildup on the walls or nothing or the window. Uh, it keeps it real nice and clean, and it does a real good job. Try to get to the bucket. That bucket works real good. I always try to keep it at least halfway. That way you won't forget it. If you forget it, you still have water in there. Water, if you're missing water on that incubator, it'll give you crooked toes, give your uh, chicks crooked toes. So you gotta keep it with water. You leave, uh, you use that, that container inside by itself. You're gonna forget it one day, you're gonna mess up your eggs. They're gonna get too hot. They're not gonna have enough humidity and it's gonna mess them up. I'm about to get these eggs in the incubator. Like I said, mark them. Uh, if you're single mating or by pen or whatever, and whenever you separate them, use them those sacks. Uh, you can use this type of sacks. I use a loofah from Walmart. You can buy them, cut the little string off, and it just becomes one long, uh, one long piece of a, a little sack right here. And just cut it in pieces, burn the end of, it. make a nut, burn the end of it. You can use them, but they're not as durable as this ones. This, this one's will last you one season. I had this one for five or six seasons. So these are very good and, and they're inexpensive as well. Like I said, I got this from the uh, Pinion Hatch uh, Farms. They work really good. And if you want to use this one, you can buy one every, buy them every year. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're not, they're inexpensive as well. This one's just a little bit stronger than this one's are. I just put the eggs in the incubator. Be real careful not to drop them, not to slip. Because you don't want to lose all the eggs. I'm gonna put them on the very bottom. Make sure your incubator is level or about level so when you put them in, you're not struggling to put them in and drop them. Whenever you put the second crate in, push the first one in with it. That way you don't go too far or not far enough. And leave it, put it at the edge of the incubator. Of the, of the turning tray I mean I used both of the sponges on the inside it keeps the humidity around 64% I like to use them both it worked better for me at first I was using one and I was getting a crooked toe on some of the chicks right now that I'm using both of them it stays around 64 to 70 it works real good I haven't gotten any crooked toes on my chicks it works really good if you use both of them 
Don't ever forget to close your incubator. Because it won't, even if you leave one latch open, it'll be too much air coming out of it and the humidity won't build up.